for the seventh district. The People's State of the City is about the people. It's about sharing how they feel about their community and what they think can make it better. Uh, what can make, what can improve public safety? What do they need to have a more healthy community? What do, how can they participate? That's which support. How can they actively participate and engage themselves in the community to make the community a lot better than what it is today? So at today's People's State of the City, we discussed the top seven issues that are affecting our communities, starting with poverty, going on to jobs, housing, the environment, community safety, education, and finally immigration. I think that all of these issues are interrelated in the sense that you know our communities feel it. Our communities feel the unemployment, our communities feel the poverty, and it just so happens that all of the communities that are feeling this very uh, institutionalized issues happen in our communities and our neighborhoods. The same amount of resources or the equity uh, to be able to access those resources is not always the same in our city, and that's one of the truths. So poverty in Long Beach is about 20% higher than LA County and California, and California having a 19%. That's more than 25% of the Long Beach households that earn less than $25,000 per year. And again, as we look at where poverty is actually overlaid, we see that it's again on the same communities of these communities of color. Every single day, a hotel housekeeper is at risk whenever she goes to work. And that's not right. And that's why that campaign has launched, right? To stand up against abuse. And so we encourage you all to really get involved in your community. You are part of the solution. Like we just heard about the hotel workers, what they're going through. And uh, we know firsthand of what it is to be working in conditions where the employer takes advantage of us. And especially us, uh, we've been finding a lot and trying to organize over there at the port about the misclassification, the wage step, and stuff like that. So that's why we, just, we came over here to show our support and we understand you know, the, the conditions that everything's are because we've been, we've been living it firsthand. I really like the fact that they brought to light the wage step. And so it makes me want to really look into who we elect as our leaders in the community.